Can you name one inducing agent which can be used in status epilepticus? Right, you guessed it right. It is thiopentol sodium, thiopentol. Hi, I am Barkha. Today in brief, I'll tell you about the drug thiopentol. Thiopentol is the sulfur analog of barbiturate, that is pentobarbiturate. Drug was synthesized in 1932 but first used in 1934 by Landy and Water. Looking into the composition, it is sodium 5, ethyl 5, 1 methyl butyl, 2 thiobarbiturate. The position of the thiol group, that is on the second part of the structure, suggests its high lipophilicity that makes it faster onset of action. Primarily barbiturates are being used as hypnotics and anxiolytics, but in today's world, it is also used widely as inducing agent. It can also be used being neuroprotective as an anti agent and also in the treatment of status epilepticus. It is also used in maintenance of general anesthesia in short procedures like ECT. It appears as a hygroscopic pale yellow powder, which is bitter in taste and faintly garlic in smell. Its composition is, its ampoule contains 500 mg of thiopentone sodium along with 6% of sodium carbonate. Why is this sodium carbonate being added to this? This has been added to increase the solubility of drug in water. It is stored in the atmosphere of nitrogen. Why? So that the nitrogen present in the ampoule does not interact with the carbon dioxide of the atmosphere. It's reconstituted in normal slime, distilled water and D5, never ever in ringer lactic. So it makes 2.5% of the solution that is 25 mg per ml. Its pH is 10.8 and pKa value is 7.6. The manufacturer mentions to be discarded in 7 hours. Induction dose is 3 to 4 mg per kg. Onset of action 10 to 30 seconds. One arm brain circulation time is 5 to 15 minutes. Maintenance dose is 50 to 100 mg that can be repeated over 10 to 12 minutes. Infusion dose of 2 to 3 mg per kg per hour. Amazingly, it can be used for rectally also in higher concentrations that is 5 to 10 percent doses 50 mg per kg. Like any other barbiturates, thiopental is known to act as specific receptors of CNS, especially the GABA-A receptor. As this drug thiopentol tends to bind with the GABA-A receptors, they tend to open the chloride channels leading to hyperpolarization of the postsynaptic membrane which in turn causes inhibition of CNS and that leads to increase in sleep that is hypnosis and anesthesia. Now we already discussed as for the shorter duration of action why does this happen. This happens because of the rapid redistribution of this drug because of its higher lipophilicity, it diffuses from the brain to the blood to the tissues, mainly into the adipose tissues. Now, the adipose tissues keeps on adding the molecules of thiopentol. As there are more and more molecules of thiopentol getting accumulated, but the release is very less of these molecules, this leads to a situation in which the patient regains its consciousness, but there is a hangover effect. It produces a rapid loss of consciousness that is within 10 to 30 seconds of an IV induction. But its duration is increased in cases of decreased cardiac output. It causes CNS depression by decreasing the CMRO2, decreasing the ICP, thereby decreasing MAP and further decreases the cerebral blood flow. But the CPP remains unaltered. Thiopentol causes a negative ionotropic effect on the heart. So it leads to dose-dependent myocardial suppression and lowers the cardiac output by 20%. It causes dose-dependent suppression of the respiratory center. It tends to decrease the ventilatory drive and leads to a short period of apnea. Secondly, the dose-dependent respiratory depression is more marked in patients getting concomitantly opioids. But in cases of spontaneous respiration, the respiratory rate and tidal volume are lower than that of the normal individual. Now, discussing the pharmacokinetics of thiopental, it has been largely metabolized in the liver by four ways. Oxidation of aryl, alkyl and phenyl moiety at C5 and dealkylation, desulfuration of the iobarbitone at C2 level and fourthly by the destruction of the barbituric acid ring. The inactive metabolites being water soluble are excreted in urea. It tends to cause hypotension. Number one. 
Number two, it causes respiratory depression in larger doses. Thirdly, tissue necrosis. Fourthly, intra-arterial injection of thiopentone. We need to immediately stop the injection and leave the cannula and the needle in place and we should flush the line with normal saline or heparinize the line. We should add injection pepper green at the dose of 40 mg. Further, we can add injection lidocaine 1% 5 ml. So, my closing statement for thiopental drug. It is a non-benzodiazepine inducing agent and it can also be used in ICU in status epilepticus. So, that's all for today's video. Me, Barkha, signing off. Please like and subscribe.